What is up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you something I've been working on, a personal project I'm uh, gonna launch very soon. And uh, it's basically a quantitative trading tool uh, for people that actually wanna, uh, yeah, wanna, be, wanna do quantitative trading, especially arbitrage. And I wanna provide some scripting language uh, that can be used in the browser side, right? So in the cloud where people can uh, have access to a simple scripting language that they probably already know or easy to learn, where they can have direct access to all the variables uh, they need to make these algorithms. For example, the best bit of the order book, best ask, spreads, uh, and, and, and volume at certain levels and all that stuff, right? So I was thinking, how can I do this? Uh, what do I need to do? Do I need to make my own scripting language uh, enable to do that and all that stuff? And actually I came uh, across a very nice package and that's basically, let me open it up real quick. It's gonna be um, this one. It's the Go Lua, the Go Lua package from Shopify itself. It's a very, very old, uh, you can see eight years ago. So it's a very old um, library that they wrote for doing some, uh, some, I don't know, to provide some load into their services or something. Not quite sure what the, actually the thing was, but actually it works. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I use this, right? And I'm gonna show you the power of basically uh, having a scripting language that they can send over to a Go backend and, and, and on the Go side, we can basically execute that script and inject uh, variables into that, uh, into that script. So let's, let's, uh, let's do this, right? So basically, for example, what I wanna do is, let's say this is a script they, they are writing in uh, the front end, right? <coughs> on the client side in the browser, and I'm gonna call this script. Now let's do this uh, backticks actually here, uh, so we can do this. So for example, they wanna have uh, the best uh, bit, and that's gonna be best bit, right, the function. And as you can see, this function, where is this function coming from? Well, it's gonna come from our Go backend. We're gonna inject that at the moment they're gonna send that to us, right? Uh, for example, the best ask, uh, also very important in these uh, quantitative um, algorithms, you're gonna say best ask, and then for example, you wanna calculate the spread or something. Um, which is basically, uh, I'm gonna show you something, so don't shoot me here, don't pitch for me here. You could do something like math uh, apps, right? And this is uh, a standard function from basically the Go, uh, the Lua, the Lua standard library. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this math apps because we could actually just uh, subtract them from each other. But the reason why I'm showing this is that it, uh, you can also inject all the complete Lua standard library into your scripts without the users, uh, need to do that. So we could say it's gonna be the best bit, for example, uh, best bit minus the best ask, right? And then we're gonna print out uh, the spread, for example, like this. And you can see where it's going, right? So you could you could uh, actually have have uh, exposed functions where they can say, for example, place uh, place order or something, right? Uh, based on, uh, on, on their calculations they have um, with all the variables we provide. So this is our script. So what we could do is we could say, uh, for example, I think it's gonna be uh, Lua, new state. So we're gonna make a new state, boom. Then we're gonna say Lua open uh, or initialize or load. I think it's load, what is this, libraries. Open libraries, that's the thing. Open libraries like this, and we're gonna pass in the state. So what this is gonna do is, this is going to inject all of the uh, Lua standard library into um, our script, into the state actually. And then we could do something like, uh, if R is going to be Lua, I think it's do string. Uh, do string, yeah. Do string. We're gonna, what's going on here? We're going to, I think we need the state and the script, if that's correct, let me quickly check. Uh, state and, and, and script, yes, 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 fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna say, um, if the error is not going to be null, we're gonna lock fatal out uh, this error, just like that, right? And that's basically, that is, uh, this is basically going to execute a script in the VM, uh, which is created by this um, Shopify Lua uh, thingy. <coughs> package. So what we need to do, so how can we actually give uh, users access to vari uh, variables that we actually gonna calculate on the Go backend, right? So that's very simple. We could do something like uh, func register best bit. And that is gonna take, we're gonna give um, the state. 
which is going to be a Lua State pointer. Yes. Then we're going to say uh, Lua, this is the state thingy. We're going to say a register. We're going to give this a name. And uh, this name needs to match basically uh, exactly like the function we they're going to call in their script, right, on the, on the front end. So we're going to say best bit. And then we are going to give a function. And that's going to be a Lua state, I guess. Uh, something like this. That's going to return an integer. And then we are gonna, what we need to return here, this integer, I was actually, not a lot of documentation about this, uh, but this integer is basically how many variables this function is gonna return, right? That's important, because what you need to do is you need to push, basically what you're gonna return, you need to push that to the stack, right? Because it's a stack-based virtual machine. So we're gonna say uh, L push, and it's going to be a push integer, right, like this. And let's say that the best bit uh, in this case is going to be uh, 10,000 or something, right? And of course, in a, in a, in a real case scenario, like uh, how I'm doing it is basically I have all these order books uh, that I'm basically replicating from Binance and all uh, these other exchanges. And uh, yeah, I'm going to basically fetch these best bits and best asks from that, that replicated order book and then push that into the function at the time they are going to call this, right? But this is just for example, so we're gonna say push integer and then we are gonna return one because we're only gonna return um, one variable. So we're gonna push that to the stack and say that we're only gonna return one variable. And then we're gonna say register best ask, right? And let's call this best ask. And let's say it's gonna be 10,001, and then basically we need to, before we call, before we call or, uh, or execute the code into the VM, we're gonna say register best ask with the state and register best bit with the state. And then if all goes well, we can uh, go run main.go and you see that the spread is one. So that's basically uh, what I'm trying to do. Um, Provide the users with a, with a scripting language on the front end side so they don't need to, because a lot of people are trading already with charts and they want to uh, get familiar with arbitrage trading or with quantitative trading, but they most of these those people don't know uh, how to write these complex algorithms. And what I want to provide them is I want to bring quantitative trading to the masses by providing them a scripting language so they can actually have access. You, you can see it like, like the Pine Scripting Trading View but PineScript and TeamView only have access to keyline data, eh, like the open or the close of the candles and all that stuff, moving averages. And what I want to provide is basically a scripting language, but for that where you have access to order book information, because in my opinion, that's very important in all these algorithms, especially if you want to make market or do some arbitrage trading, is that you have access to order book data, right? And that's uh, basically the main goal of uh, the whole tool that I'm building. So uh, if you're interested in that tool, jump into my Discord. Uh, I have a quantitative trading channel and you can ask me everything. And um, for the people that are subscribed to my Patreon, they, where I'm building this completely live, right? In my Patreon, I'm building the, the whole startup, so to say, this project live. Uh, and all the people that are on the Patreon will also have free access to the beta test. Uh, so if you want to know more, jump into the Discord, right? So that's basically it. It's a very short video, but um, it's give you the basics on how to parse Lua into Go and execute that functions and all that stuff and all that jazz. If you like this content I'm providing to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comments, jump into the Discord, and I'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams or future videos. Bye-bye.